We often think of influence as something you either have or don't have. One of the things we really learn with respect to influence is that we've got a lot of inner dialogue that we've got to overcome. You might be telling yourself, I'm not smart enough. Nobody's going to listen to me anyway. So we have to get really good at looking at what stops us. There's key habits that define highly influential people. The first habit, no surprise, is authenticity. Authenticity is simply your inside voice saying the same thing as your outside voice. So if you're saying to your friend, delicious homemade sushi, and you're thinking, is this tuna roll going to kill me? That disconnect is evident in your energy. So consider that you may have an inner dialogue that's getting in the way of you becoming influential. So here's your first takeaway. So for the next seven days, every night, journal what came up for you that day. What was your negative self-talk? Especially when you feel called to step up or lead or put yourself out there. Habit number two is based on a key principle. Influential people need other people to talk about them in a positive way. That's where they gain their influence. If I stood up here and said, oh, guys, you got to meet Dave. He started the most phenomenal charity. It's called Hearts and Hammers. I get to look gracious, and Dave Bonk just became more influential. It's in the act of giving influence to another person that you become more influential. There's two key mistakes that people tend to make around this habit. The first is what I would affectionately call the premature ask. The premature ask is the equivalent of you've just met the new neighbor and they come by and say, great car, I can't wait to borrow that. But you often see the equivalent of this at business networking functions. You know, the speaker or the guest of honor will walk off stage and there'll be a lineup of people waiting to meet them and half of them will be waiting to offer to buy them a coffee and the other half will want to give them their book or their CD or a product sample but it's too soon for that conversation. You can offer to endorse them in some way, shout them out on your social media. You can offer to nominate them for an award. The second mistake that people tend to make around this habit is that they don't spend and invest the influence that they have. The minute you spend it, it's like an investment that doubles. So here's your second takeaway. Take the 30-day influence challenge if you really want to master this. For the next 30 days, Gift out influence 30 times to people you authentically feel deserve it. What if becoming an authentic, influential leader is as simple as learning to invest the influence that you already have every day? Thank you.